Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today we are reviewing the Tasty Peach Mini Palette from iHeartRevolution. Now, iHeartRevolution is basically the sister brand to Makeup Revolution. I purchased mine like a month ago now on the Makeup Revolution website and I think now it's available on Ulta and this palette only retails for $9. It's so cute. It has like a raised packaging and it feels very soft and smooth and you open it up. has a mirror which is perfect for travel. You get eight shades. Five of them are shimmer metallics and three of them are mattes. We might as well just go ahead and swatch them all. I don't think they have names. They're numbered. But we're just, I don't know. I'm starting with, let's, I don't know. Let's just do the bottom row first. So here is num the first one on the bottom. Do you see how pigmented that is? Going into this shade here. Dang. That had to have mixed with the other. Here, let's see what that looks like by itself. Yeah, it kind of mixed a little bit with that one, so sorry, but that makes an extra pretty shade. They are very crumbly too as I swatch them. And the last one's this real pink shade. Top row, I don't know why I went backwards, but I did this matte. peach matte and this kind of grungy gold shade here are those with also the mixed extra shade I accidentally created as you can see they're all super duper pigmented which I did not <laughs> take that caution into mind when I created this demo. I honestly was trying to create a more neutrally look and it came out very dramatic. So let's get into this demo. <laughs> if you watch my videos, you already know. We're starting with the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer. e.l.f. wants to sponsor me and send me all their eye putty primers. I would not say no. Um, I love this thing. It just, it's basically like the MAC paint pot, so if you're into those, this is a cheaper, more affordable option, and it's cruelty free. So, I would definitely recommend the e.l.f. one over the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I think it is a little bit more stickier than the version of the MAC, though. Okay, so the Tasty Peach Palette is what we're using today, and I have been doing so many pinky peach looks lately, so I think as much as I really want to use those pinks because I think, you know, that's what I always want to use, I think we're going to try and do more of the gold, even though, man, I really want to use the pinks. I have seriously have done, like, three pink peachy looks recently, so I think, I mean, I'm going to incorporate the peach, obviously, but probably not use the pink shimmers. Okay. So there's only three mattes, so we're going to start off with this one, which is the more pinky, the more pinky peach, but I think it's the lightest shade. Whoa, whoa, that is intense. Okay, I wasn't, ex okay. Oh, crud, I was not expecting that pigment. I was not expecting that. I really wish there was a lighter shade in here now, because holy smokes, we are in it. I'm just going to blend and blend. This was supposed to be a more... <laughs> I was gonna do a more toned down look today. This palette had other plans for me. So, wow. Um... <laughs> really bold peach looks you're gonna get from this. Um, I'm gonna use the orangey shade now. Maybe once we add the brown, it'll kind of help tone it down. Wow, these are pigmented, you guys. Like, you can tell, like, I wasn't sure if you'd be able to tell the difference between these shades. But right off the bat, you can. Okay. Okay. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure that this is, like, the same formula they use in their chocolate bar palettes. But this seems way more pigmented than what I'm used to. I haven't tried any of their newer formulas, though, so... Now we're going to go into the brown peachy shade, which apparently is the only shade I should have used if I wanted to do a more neutral look today. 
Okay, we're gonna, dang, like for the brown to be able to show up on top, oh my gosh. For the brown to be able to just show up like that on top of these pigments is crazy. Holy smokes. I honestly was not expecting it to be this pigmented. I don't know why, it just wasn't. I know Makeup Revolution is pretty good, but holy smokes. Yeah. <laughs> if you're looking to create a light uh, look with this, maybe don't use primer. <laughs> I don't know, let's, we're gonna use this guy right here and we're gonna try with our finger and see what happens. Okay, so that, okay, let's try going in with a brush. These shimmers are very hard pan. I really had to dig in there and wet my brush. So they're pretty, but you really have to dig. Like I wet my brush and I'm like digging into it to pick anything up. I think you could use your finger, but like you saw, it still wasn't coming off that great, so. It just stinks because it's so hard pan and I think if it was a little bit softer, I think that it would, you know, show up a little bit more. We're going to take this light golden shade for hopefully an extra pop, you know, if I can get it to kind of stick. I'm really just digging in there. Man, what is the best way to work with these? shimmers. I know people are going to be like, your finger. I hate using my finger. But it, it, did you see that? Use my finger. Pop, pop, pop. I'm going to go back into that brown a little bit just to kind of help blend. We have to do, obviously, the under eye. So we're just going to take all three of those matte shades and put it under the eye just can't believe how pigmented I'm tapping I'm tapping very very lightly this time <laughs> and just to test it out we're gonna take this lightest shade and put it on the inner corner maybe a little bit in the center to give it an extra extra dimension. I'm going to add this brown liquid liner. I've been using this in like all my tutorials. It's from Quibbest. It's just a dark brown liner. Honestly, I need to get a black liner. That's why I've been using the brown liner so much, but I don't mind it. Just, you know, a little bit more subtle. I'm gonna put my mascara on, do the other eye. Before we move along, I did want to try one of them as a blush. Um, which now I'm a little scared because they're so pigmented, but we'll try it regardless. Let's go into actually the more peachy one because I always do pink peaches. I can't help it. Just my favorite. Um, yeah, so it would make a pretty blush, but seriously, you can't use a lot. It is like insane pigmented. But it still would be a very pretty like springy type of color. I just can't get over how pigmented these shadows are. So uh, I did the other eye and for the first time I like the way the eye I did on camera better. I think once I figured out they were so pigmented and this one was already so dramatic, I was just gonna go full in and full ham. I feel like it got muddier faster that way. I still really had to build up these shimmers. I have to use both my wet brush and my finger. I feel like the best way I found was to first rub my finger in it and pat it and then take my wet brush to, to help kind of shape it the way that I want so they are harder but once they are on they are very beautiful and metallic but they take some time that pigmentation I don't know maybe I will have to try out some of their bigger palettes like this where they're chocolate bar palettes but I feel like this quality is better than those. Maybe it just varies. I've always been eyeing the avocado palette. So let me know down below if those are any good quality, how the pigmentation, because if the pigmentation is like this, I'm probably gonna buy it. The shimmers, they're beautiful once you get them on, but my gosh, they take work. Almost to the point where I'd recommend using a glitter glue to help keep it down because they're really, hard to get out of the pan and to stick on your eyes. So thank you so much for watching and let me know down below what you think.